Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest video on this, frankly, incredibly heavily watched YouTube channel. Um, as always with our Let's Plays, we're trying to do something different. Not necessarily something popular, you understand, but something a little bit different to the run-of-the-mill that you see on the internet. Um, here, I'll be role-playing one of my favourite games, Morrowind. Um, I say I'll be role-playing it, um, and I'm going to extend this to the actual commentary I give you in-game. Now, what that means is, I won't be saying things like I normally say in video games, such as, oh, when I was playing this in 2004 I had a really nice experience when, or, oh, I don't like this aspect of the inventory, it annoys me, or, um, I happen to be able to tell you that if I drink uh, seven pints of Shane, such and such a thing will happen. I'm not going to be saying any of that gamey related stuff. I'm going to be keeping this Let's Play wholly in character after this preamble video, which I decided to record just so I don't appear to be insane. Um, as an actor, albeit a uh, an amateur one, and not one with any actual real world experience, um, I find it's quite difficult to role play properly um, when the character I'm role playing speaks the same way that I do. Um, as a result of that, I'm going to be role-playing this in the best impersonation of a Morrowind Dark Elf that I can muster. Um, this may require some suspension of disbelief, to put it mildly, but I don't think it's too bad an impersonation, and I think hopefully it'll help immerse the uh, viewers, you, in um, what's going on, in the sense of you'll hopefully believe that I am actually a member of this world. Um, you may ask, and of course I have to get all this game-related stuff out of the way quickly because it's not going to be in the actual Let's Play, uh, why I'm playing a Dark Elf. Why not play a character that has maybe an accent slightly closer to my own, maybe a gruff Imperial or something. Um, and the answer to that is that I know Morrowind too well to be playing as an Outlander. Um, it wouldn't really make sense, I think, from a role-playing perspective, if I were to um, pretend to have never visited the Aldscar before. Um, I mean, I could do it, obviously, that's what acting is, you can pretend to be anything, but I am not so good at acting as to be able to do that, so um, I have to find a role-playing reason to justify why I have visited these locations before. Um, and that role-playing reason is that I am a Dark Elf. Um, I will give you uh, some of the information now that you need about my character before we start actually playing as him. Uh, I come from House Telvani, and by that I mean I was born into it, I don't mean that I'm already a part of it. Uh, I come from the mainland of Morrowind. Uh, I come from the city of Mournhold, in fact, which will make, if ever we do get to Tribunal, which quite frankly, given the track record of this channel, is highly unlikely, but if ever we do get there it'll be kind of a homecoming for me, or my character I should say. Um, I am very Machiavellian, I'm a magic user. Um, essentially, for those of you that know Morrowind, which I hope is most of you, um, my character is a typical member of House Telvani. He believes in advancing himself through back, uh, backstabbing, underhanded means, that sort of thing. Uh, he believes in the inferiority of non-magic users. And he is also a typical Dark Elf in that he is extremely xenophobic and distrustful of foreigners or outlanders. Um, moreover, my character isn't actually very good when the game starts. There has to be a role-playing explanation for why my character starts at level 1. The explanation is that he's uh, 18 years of age, or whatever the equivalent Dark Elf young boy to a man age is. I know Elves live a long time, I'm not quite sure what the lore has to say about that someone better informed than me can maybe write it in the comments if you know but um, I'm just ascending into manhood very little actual experience my character has their lecosseted existence in a Telvani mushroom tower um, but it's a mushroom tower on the outskirts as I say of the city of Monhol so uh, the Telvani of the sticks of Varnfell which he has visited as a youth um, are still a little bit alien to him because Really, he is a city boy, even if he does live on the outskirts of Mournhold. It's a bit like living in Croydon. You're hardly a country bumpkin, are you? Anyway, um, anything else you should know? Uh, I'm not sure there is. Uh, this is using Morrowind Overhaul v3.0. 
Um, with a couple of options of my own added in here and there, nothing really significant, if I'm honest with you. Um, there is a debate to be had, certainly, about whether you you know preserve the original art direction and artistic vision of Morrowind by playing it as it was, or whether you prettify it to more or less recent standards. I think, with the exception of maybe a super hardcore, most people would probably appreciate it more to see the game in its modded current glory. So that's what I've done. Uh, also, it makes things more interesting for me as a player as well as a let's player because I've put the vast bulk of my Morrowind hours into the vanilla version, so playing it modded keeps things fresh from my perspective. Uh, we're not going to be playing this Iron Man just because, as you know as well as I, the nature of this game is that um, Iron Man's a bit silly because levels 1 to 5 I could be killed extremely easily, levels 5 and up I'd need to be completely switched off to die because I'd be invincible by that point. Um, I don't really know how this is going to go. I don't promise to finish, if one actually can finish Morrowind, um, but I, I do promise to give this one a fair effort. Uh, also, small admin point, if anyone is actually watching this and is still watching this, uh, my Crusader Kings 2 video I could not finish. I'm sorry about that. The reason for that was that um, I was playing as a small Germanic um, duchy uh, with Gavelkin succession laws. And what that actually meant was that, um, I can't remember the precise details, it was about six months ago now, but um, if I recall correctly, I, I couldn't win. And not only could I not win, I couldn't continue playing the game. For some reason I had no eligible successors and um, uh, there was no way to change succession law, so I was totally screwed. With hindsight, I ought to have played a, a British county. Perhaps if there is sufficient interest, and I say this in the full knowledge that there will not be sufficient interest, I will do another Crusader Kings 2 playthrough as a more sensible duchy. Um, right, in the meantime, uh, we're approaching the sort of 10 minute mark, which I really wanted to keep this preamble to. I hope you enjoy the Let's Play. I know none of you will actually keep to this, but please if you have a if you want to critique my accent uh, i appreciate constructive criticism but um it is what i can do you know telling me to rasp slightly more or slightly less or glottal stop less or use a more you know, pronounced diphthong isn't going to really affect my output i'll have started this with a funny accent so i shall probably finish it with one if it really bothers you i cordially suggest not watching the video and watching any of the many other Morrowind Let's Plays that are available on the internet. Um, if you want pointing in the right direction, may I humbly recommend Variax's interactive Let's Play Morrowind. It's given me many happy hours. Also, if uh, I recommend Variax in general, actually. His Let's Plays are very good, especially his Oblivion Let's Play and his Deus Ex Let's Play. Both sterling, funny efforts. Um, so do watch those if you want someone a little bit more professional and a little bit less uh, terrible, frankly, than um, than my effort will surely be, but nonetheless, um, completely in character, here on end, any bugs, any glitches, inventory problems, issues with the game, I'm not going to mention them, unless I slip up. Okay, thanks very much everyone, I hope you enjoy the Let's Play, uh, see you soon with my authentic Dunma voice. Bye bye from me, bye.